while President Trump might be very pro vaccine, very vociferously and explicitly talking about the science of getting vaccinated and it reducing your chances of getting COVID. A group of conspiracy theorists, influencers have suddenly fallen ill with a mysterious um, uh, syndrome. Truly, after they attended a Reawaken America conference in Dallas this month, and now they have come to Jesus. They've understood that the illness that has befallen them is most likely an anthrax attack. That's right, the far right conspiracy claim began after a dozen people spent time together in a confined space at the Reawaken America tour event in Dallas over the weekend of December 10th. And the fact that this was likely a COVID outbreak and super spreader event has almost entirely been ignored. The anthrax claim was first made by Joe Altman on his conservative daily podcast earlier this week. In a video recording of the podcast, Altman can be seen coughing and sneezing on camera, symptoms often associated with COVID-19. There is a 99% chance it's anthrax, Altman said on his podcast, even though no one had tested positive for anthrax poisoning. And none of the other 3,500 attendees have so far reported suffering the effects of anthrax. But like, that's how anthrax works. You know what I'm saying? Because it like, it like pretends to be COVID, but then it's like, boo, anthrax. I think. I love it because the anthrax is one of those things that like no one really knows what it is. They remember it was mentioned in some kind of like post 9-11 news peg anthrax is a thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, it is it's basically like yelling smoke bomb when it's like so you guys got together during a pandemic and all got sick. And your first guess is anthrax. Do you at least have some kind of test results to back that up? And the answer, if you were wondering, is no. (laughs) They all got together. And whether they have COVID or the flu or a cold, 100% they are going to conclude it was anthrax because we're such a threat to everybody that somebody sourced. You know, rather than just let nature take its course when a bunch of morons get in a room together during a pandemic. No, we wanted to make sure that anthrax was involved. That's a really cool theory. We're like really important though. You know, like uh, the Bush officials post 9 11, that's like us, but in 2021, we're cool enough to be anthrax, I think is what they're trying to say. How did they get anthrax? Uh, Well, according to Altman, again, uh, this podcaster, After Altman made the initial claim, other conspiracy minded folks highlighted a video from the event that showed a fog machine operating during the conference suggesting this is how the anthrax was spread. Ignoring the fact that no anthrax outbreak has been reported by the CDC or any other agency, but like sometimes that fog machine, like if I were to spread anthrax, Fog machine. All a fog machine does is prove how fast air moves in a small room. Yeah. Like it comes out of a little spigot and you can see it. And then it just kind of goes everywhere. Yeah, a fart uh, does that too in a in a small room. And I fart like this fine mist. So I I can actually vouch. Like I have visible fart. It is a curse. <laughs> I shart, but it's a fine mist. I love that, right? <laughs> A fine mist. Mm. No, when I first learned about gases, like how gases work when I was, I remember in science class, I was like, so what you're trying to say to me is one fart fills the entire space of a room. That's messed up. Yeah. <laughs> like it, like it, I never, it doesn't go away. It just fills the container that it is in. Like, I don't know, uh, COVID. So, um, Quickly, because it's just funny. This is another influencer who was at this Reawaken America conference who took to Twitter. His name is Jovan Pulitzer, which is the most ridiculous name ever, <laughs> saying to my friends, to my friends, tried to keep this under wraps until we knew. I know that doesn't grammatically make sense, but 
that makes sense. Uh, until we knew what we were dealing with, but evidence suggests that several of us were targeted by biological agents at an event. This has wreaked havoc on my system with all the most dangerous symptoms appearing scary to say the least, from rashes to blistering, passing blood to soil, two days of hallucinations, massive fever storms drenching me. Ugh. And not abating, but still no definitive diagnosis. Yet all I know is zombie symptoms would have been easier than these symptoms. Yeah, man, it's probably COVID. Okay, just let's look at. Okay, this is someone responding to this. This is these are the symptoms of anthrax. This is journalist James uh, Surowiecki's. Anthrax symptoms include fever, chest pain, shortness of breath, cough, headache, fatigue. In other words. Symptoms that are similar to COVID could definitely be COVID. Um, but the Reawaken America Tour features anti vaxxers and COVID skeptics. So it'd be embarrassing if a bunch of people on the tour caught COVID. Yeah, it would be embarrassing. So, yeah, I mean, whatever you need to say, I guess there are similarities. My bad, I misspoke. I want Either it way, to be anthrax like, for them. Like, I want them, I do want them to have, I, you know, whatever they believe. The only way for them to prove whether this is anthrax is for them to go track down some anthrax, have one brave member of this very threatening group take the anthrax, breathe it in, and compare it to his buddy's symptoms. If they cared about this country and its future and security, they would do that. Otherwise, they're just a bunch of quitters. You gotta snort that anthrax, buddy. Mm, we, we're, we'll wait, we'll wait. Do the A-B test. Do it. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.